live and in person, and we're going to talk about this book. Uh, Richmond native Thornton Klein. Good morning, Thornton. I'm so glad mm -hmm. to be here, Chuck. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Thank you, Steve. And, and uh, it's good to be here for your audience, and uh, good to be in Richmond again, and, and the Richmond area, and crew, and all Virginia. Well, I, I know you're living now in Nashville. You traitor. <laughs> <laughs> no, can you believe it? You know, Actually, it's Hendersonville. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the same, that's that same thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's the word. That's the <laughs> word. <laughs> you know, Steve, Thornton is a, a Richmond native. Uh, went to high school and college in and around Richmond. And uh, a musician extraordinaire by all means. I know we were, we were talking out there uh, in the offices just a little bit ago uh, about uh, some of your music. Uh, you actually teach music in Nashville. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I have a private studio that students come to me from in the uh, Sumner County area of Nashville and also I teach at a college, Cumberland University. And I have kids as early as two years of age all the way up. Can you believe that? You heard me, two years in diapers. Wow. Yes. And <laughs> but I also have also performed, I've uh, done recordings. I uh, did a performance at the Grand Ole Opry Studio A, Studio A, wow. with the Gaithers. Oh, <laughs> that's great. That awesome, yeah. And uh, got to do, I'm, I'm on several of their albums, their, their DVDs, uh, Amazing Grace and, uh, and uh, How Great Their Art. You know, they're selling in all the yeah. you know, stores, Walmart, wow. and all the Just a few, I believe. <laughs> a lot yeah. of rice. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about that. Not only do you live in Nashville, you hang out with these, these artists, mm -hmm. you're also a songwriter of note. And I will say, and, and I know you and I have a mutual friend. We were talking a little bit ago. Curtis Wright, and Curtis has been a guest <laughs> on our show here at WSVS as well, and uh, mighty good man. He is. Excellent songwriter, and uh, proud to be able to call him a friend of WSVS. Uh, you do some writing, and we talked about this before when I talked with you on the phone, Practice Personalities, What's Your Type? Uh, that's the name of the book, and uh, tell us a little bit about this book, uh, uh, Thornton. Okay, well, I came up with the idea. I was driving to a show that I was performing in Kentucky. And um, I had been collecting for over 25 years uh, documents and things like logs and interviews and things with students, and I noticed that no two students were alike in personality. And then it began to dawn on me that there were these different personalities. And I came up with nine different personalities that I coined. Uh, they're called practice personalities. What's your type? And I'm um, actually coming up with a new book that's coming out this summer called that's been commissioned by Hal Leonard, which is the largest music print company in the world, and they um, distributed to 60 countries. And it's called uh, pra Practice Personalities for Adults. Now, and so this is um, uh, it has charts and things in it too to be able to define what your personality is like, and then to be able to effectively and efficiently um, find strategies and things, ways to be able to um, to practice more efficiently and to be able to get results from your music instrument. Isn't that incredible? Instead of just um, wow, you know, just shooting in the dark trying to find well, what's my personality and how do I how do I practice efficiently and not waste time? So it's really a, a way to uh, cut all that out and be efficient. I figured out what mine is. Uh, <laughs> mine is foot pattern. <laughs> that, that's my personality. <laughs> I'm real good at that. I, I can keep time very well. I just can't coordinate the feet and the hands at the same time. So don't suggest playing drums. <laughs> don't do all of that. No, nope, foot pattern, that's me. But uh, um, where can you get a copy of this book? Well, it's available at the music stores like Sam Ash Music and Music and Arts, and then also, of course, Amazon and also Barnes and Noble. It's available pretty much everywhere, and it's also online and everything. Um, I want to mention that I'm doing a workshop tomorrow. Anybody that may be uh, in the maybe the Northern Virginia area listening, or anybody on the internet's listening, maybe somebody that's uh, uh, up in the Maryland area, I'm doing a workshop tomorrow at Hanover. Uh, Maryland at the Ar I hope I can pronounce this right. It's Arundel, Arundel, I believe it is Mills. Arundel Mills. Arundel Mills. Arundel, Arundel Mills and Maryland. And I'm doing a workshop at the uh, Music and Arts, uh, one of their largest stores there. 
and I'm going to do a book signing there, and that's at uh, at one o'clock tomorrow. So if anybody wants to come out, <laughs> you're a busy man. You got to do a lot of traveling. Too. I do. You can go to Kleintel Music Media, KleintelMusicMedia.com. You'll see all about that workshop. You'll see all, a lot about Thorne and some of his past performances, some of his friends like Todd Taylor and everybody else in there. So check that out. Uh, give him that uh, site again. It's KleintelMusicMedia.com. And it's spelled? C-L-I-N-E. Yes, C-L-I-N-E-T-E-L. Music media okay and you all see links from victoriacambridge.com for that as well okay and there are, you said there are links uh, and you talking is by the way <laughs> right <laughs> Thornton what do you got lined up for uh, say the next six months I know you you mentioned that, that mm -hmm. there's another book coming out when is that due out that's due out in July and that's for the NAM show, the summer NAM show. Are you familiar with that in in, in Nashville? Um, I, I I became familiar <laughs> with that the last time we yeah. talked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was speaking. I'm speaking of that uh, coming up in July. I've been asked to do a, another presentation. This is the second year. I did one out in California, in Anaheim, California, um, this past January, which was exciting, and it coincided with the uh, it coincided coincided with the uh, with the Grammy Awards. So it was the same day. I had to. Oh, okay. Just throw all my tucks and run from there to the uh, to the Grammys in in, Anaheim, uh, in uh, Staples Center in Los Angeles. But uh, I'm doing that, and then also um, I've got a lot of book tours lined up. You know, uh, book signings and workshops and things, and uh, one in Columbus, Ohio, and then one in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, that are coming up pretty soon. And um, we have a new have a new single out that I've written um, called "You Know Me So Well." It's a new artist uh, that lives in Nashville. He's a very popular session singer, sings on the General Jackson with the uh, Grand, with uh, you know the Gaylord Entertainment, uh, Opryland and everything. And his name is Matt Newton, Matt Newton. And you can get you can go to mattnewtonthearist.com, mattnewtonthearist.com because there's another Matt Newton. He's a he's a famous uh, Australian actor, but this yeah. is not to be confused with him. And and uh, anyway, have a new single. It's actually already this week has added 300 stations. Uh, uh, worldwide, great. including BBC, which is British Broadcasting, yeah. which is which is amazing. Some of the big ones uh, uh, on Devon, Devon, I believe, is England, and uh, Wiltshire have added it, which we're very excited about. And so, as you know, it takes a while to to chart. So oh, yeah. we probably won't even see anything in the charts probably three or four weeks, or maybe longer than that. You know, with it, but it's called "You Know Me So Well." It's kind of an adult contemporary song. But I also write country songs. I've had a song. Uh, by Tim Murphy that was on the CMT and uh, uh, GAC and the Charted. Uh, it's it's called it was called the Bottom of the Fifth and that was in 2002. Good song, good songwriter, a good book. And uh, Thornton, we certainly appreciate you coming by this morning and and uh, sharing with us. Thank you. Uh, I really like the idea and the and the concept and the story behind your book. The book is called Practice Personalities, What's Your Type, by Thornton Klein, and it's available just about everywhere. And uh, I guess you don't get to spend a lot of time at home uh, <laughs> these days and, uh, you know, being on the road promoting your book, mm -hmm. your work. Uh, what do the students do while you're away? Practice. Well, hopefully they're practicing. <laughs> I, <laughs> hope. I hope they're practicing. If you hear me, students. <laughs> That's right. No, I, I hope they are. Get the hand and skills going, guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just being curious. I thought I'd throw that out there because I remember how I was when I was in school. Uh -huh. Of course, I wasn't very studious. Either, but, uh, I always had a good time. Hey, I want to say thank you to Thornton and Scott for coming in, and I appreciate the information. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. Good. So, uh, and it. We've got to get to coffee chat here, Steve. Well, before we do, you got the mic right there. Yeah. Uh, you told me that you had something to announce. Yeah, well, um, unfortunately, uh, today is my last day with WSVS. And uh, I'm sorry to be leaving. And uh, uh, I've got other things that I, I just I need to take care of. And... Uh, I have enjoyed it. I do appreciate all the phone calls, the, the words of encouragement, and uh, the support from the listeners. Well, you have done a wonderful job with the morning show. You started, what, the end of April last year? Yes, sir. 
and uh, the music is great, the classic country, and uh, thank you for what you've done. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that, Steve. Yep. Uh, you, you've been here uh, two forevers. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, of course, we worked together back in the day. That was... Uh, Late okay. Yeah, no, no, we don't need to go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it, it, it was, what, eight or ten years ago, right? No, <laughs> you <laughs> multiply that. <laughs> yes, Millenniums. But uh, I understand you have an announcement to make as well. I do. Uh, yeah, I, I first came to work here in uh, July of 1986, and with the exception of uh, in the early 90s, the company that owned K95 in Richmond, they bought out our FM 104.7, and uh, they, uh, I was away from here then. Uh, WFLO ended up buying WSVS AM. I came back to work, so I was only gone uh, maybe six to nine months from here. But other than that, I've been here uh, every day just about since uh, July of 1986. And, uh, yeah, today is my last day, too, and i uh, going to miss it. Yes, we will. And uh, Steve, again, it has been an honor, a privilege, and by all means a pleasure working with you here at WSVS. And uh, wish everybody here at WSVS the best of luck. Well, my, the feeling is mutual. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, thanks to everyone at WSVS. And, uh, you know, uh, things happen. Uh, we certainly don't want any finger pointing. Uh, Chuck and I both uh, love the history of WSVS, and uh, we want it to continue. I certainly want it to continue here, and uh, we're going to open up the line for coffee chat right now. And uh, again, uh, this is uh, my last day as far as Monday through Friday. Uh, I couldn't. Um, couldn't get in touch with all of the churches, but I did want to make this church announcement. I will be here the next three Sundays uh, making sure that the uh, church programs go on. And I'm speaking of the Amazing Grace program with Pastor Walter Daniel Jr. down at the Belfast Baptist Church outside of Crewe. So I will be running your program for the next three Sundays as well as the Union Baptist Church of Crewe, Pastor Sarah Coleman. The Union Baptist Church of Crew goes from 10.30 to 11 a.m. every Sunday morning. We appreciate those folks. And, of course, the long-standing Crew Baptist Church. I want to thank the entire congregation and uh, Dr. Ben Powers, who used to be the preacher there, and everyone at uh, Crew Baptist Church. Uh, I just want to say thank you for all that you've done. And, of course, they go from 11 a.m. to 12 noon on Sunday, and I will be here uh, the next three Sundays making sure that those programs get on. And we're going to get on with Coffee Chat. Good morning. You're on Coffee Chat. Well, wouldn't you know Barry Miles would be the first call.
come to you in prayer this morning. And Father, we realize that things in life, sometimes we don't understand why they happen. But dear God, we know that everything happens for a reason, and everything happens for the best. Father, we pray for our two brothers in Christ this morning, Chuck Hammer and Steve Wynn. We thank you, dear God, for the many years of dedicated service to WSVS, to their family, and to the community. We thank you, dear God, for the many long days and hours they worked to serve the best they knew how to carry on the format of WSVS. Thank you, Barry. I really appreciate it, buddy. You take care.